The five most dangerous dick animals, yeah! Number one on this list is dogs. That's right. All of you got a ghouls and got a gals out there, got yourself a buddy, a compadre. Uh, your pooch is definitely driving the car during your best bud bank heist, huh? However, if you don't give Woofles his cut, he might be uh, withdrawing more than just a heavy bank bag, huh? Now, you might not believe it, but your best friend is the number one offender on this list, okay? And I don't just mean that douche that you record with. I mean that four-legged Jimmy Reaper that you live with and pay for is just waiting for the chance to attack your dog and bury it in the backyard. Now, I know most of you uh, gobba ghouls don't just pull your meat out unless your gobba gal takes it out for a little air every now and then. But if you keep fucking around and jabbing all yellow in the eye and fucking with them, there's just a fucking chance that you might be getting a little bit more than what you bargained for, eh? And, uh, just like those fuckers that keep doing the, uh, whole, uh, pretend throw and pretend throw and, oh, there you go, and I'm so fucking funny, that happened to one dude I know with, uh, no documentation or pictures or names or dates whatsoever again, but he kept doing that shit to Fluffy, and finally, Fluffy decided that he was gonna take what was his and actually ripped his scrotum open all the way from the head to the sack with one mighty bite. So maybe next time you should not think about fucking around with your dog so much, all right? Okay, wait. So supposedly that hardly ever happens too. Uh, yeah, Angel? You what? You forgot the, you know, pretty much the, the worst one of all? And what's that? What, what else? Is it that you would have your dick out next to? What What the fuck? Bag! Of course! Uh, chicks, dude! Oh! Holy shit! Okay, okay, okay. You know, for the purposes of this video, we we're really thinking about the kind of bitches that have more than two legs. But, <laughs> you should always remember, women are animals too! Per capita, women are more likely to do damage to your dog for any reason. I mean, like, fucking any reason, right? There are so many cases out there of uh, women just ripping straight through dongs and destroying your life forever, and I can't even find them all on the internet. You're just waiting to get the drop on you by ninja slicing your dong off for almost any reason. And not only are they eyeballing your Jimmy for the uh, special finishing move that she's got stored away, but they also got powers of ball breaking and shrill penetrating tones so they can break your spirit along with your bank account. So they're dangerous to more than just your dick, eh? Now, you know, when you got the uh, kind of pungent, victorious man scent that I sweat the fuck out, uh, creatures are just bound to be drawn right to your pork incense log. The science is out, okay? It's also completely understandable. However, uh, Animals attacking your dick doesn't really happen all that much. I, I don't know what to say. It just really doesn't happen all that much. So, uh, not all things great and small want to cuddle up to your full body flesh pillow. So just watch out before you, uh, you know, hang out the splotchy trousers and mouse in the woods, or uh, you're gonna crap in a hole, or you might want to use your dick for a fishing lure or something like that. Cause uh, you might find a cat in the mouth of something you didn't really want it to be in. Ha! So, fucking party time! If you're still here, gobble ghouls and gobble gals, that means you made it through an IQ obliterated installment of Johnny Angel versus Intelligence. And that's a, a true milestone for some of you gobble ghouls and gobble gals out there with superior attention spans and uh, the mind to peer into darkness, huh? So, to keep your eyes peeled for another installment, it'll be coming soon, and you can always remember your friend's bandwidth 